On April 1st, Overkill posted a video on their channel talking about the development of Payday Royale, surely a satire on the current popularity of battle royales in the video game industry. Now, you my fans have made certain that I'm aware of every tidbit that goes on in the Overkill and Payday universe, but I actually did have some things that I wanted to discuss about this whole idea. First, it was a good joke. Everybody laugh, roll on snare drum, curtains. Personally though, I feel like this joke was made in bad taste. Well, what do I mean? It just feels wrong. As much as I love Overkill, they don't have the best track record when it comes to implementing new ideas. Let's just take a couple, for example. Raid World War II, The Walking Dead game, loot boxes and weapon skins, even the H3H3 pack. Now one could argue whether or not these were good ideas to begin with, but that's not really what I wanted to talk about. It's the fact that these all follow a trend. That trend being trying to cash in on a current popular fad, but due to the poor implementation, it falls flat. Raid World War II, for example, trying to make the most out of Payday's popularity, but ended up being the exact same game, if not worse, for a bigger price. The Walking Dead game, trying to make the most out of the TV show's popularity, but failing on nearly all fronts. With that in though, I'd like to have a discussion in a separate video, because for this one, there's, there's just so much to talk about that it would take too long. With weapon skins and H3H3, it's kind of the same deal. Now, like I said, it's not really the idea so much as how it was implemented. Personally, I feel, you know, adding loot boxes, it wouldn't have been nearly so bad if they didn't try to go balls to the wall and making money. You know, giving skins stat boosts, no matter how marginal, would have been seen as paying to win. Having no way to earn skins or anything else without paying money for the absurd key and box combo was already a giant red flag. And advertising the whole thing as something that the community wants? That was just icing on the cake. With H3H3, personally, I didn't really care one way or another about it, but judging from the community feedback, they sure as hell did not like it. So Overkill definitely isn't afraid to try to go along with popular trends to see if it'll work out. And for me, I'd be okay with it if they did it right. You know, let's say Raid World War II. If it was more than just a reskin, maybe it tried to have a semblance of a story, maybe. Talk about Bane's grandpa and his old heisting days or whatever. Maybe try to be more unique in its premise, too, instead of just being, it's another heisting game, but in World War II. Maybe it could have been better. And that's what bothers me about this whole Payday Royale joke they've made. As a longtime player of their games, I can see them, 100%, trying to make their own Battle Royale game, but failing miserably. You know, if the past experiences have shown us anything, it's that Overkill's fairly unreliable in that regard. Now, I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but we also have to consider the issue of stuff like online play, netcode, game balance. These are all things that we don't really have confidence in them being able to execute well. Just look at Payday. The connection issues, the non-existent balance for weapons, skills, perk decks, the difficulties. Even if they tried, could Overkill pull off making an acceptable battle royale? As it is? It's hard to see, and that's why the April Fool's joke hurts inside a bit. It's totally within their strike zone, but they might still whiff at it. But let's say, hypothetically, that we'd be guaranteed a polished game. One with good balance, good netcode, good performance. Is Payday Battle Royale something that I'd like to see? Even then? No, I don't think so. While Overkill making the joke makes me cringe a little, the joke itself is fairly spot on. There's plenty of Battle Royales now, and I dare say there's enough that are well made, where other ones just saturate the market. There's not a lot a new Battle Royale could offer now, when there's already a good variety out there. In my opinion, what would be a better fit for the Payday series is adding a PvP mode similar to Left 4 Dead. Now, Payday itself is already a clone of Left 4 Dead. It has the exact same style of horde shooter elements and cooperative gameplay as seen in that game. So why not just go all out and add a PvP that's similar to Left 4 Dead? Of course, a carbon copy, that wouldn't really be acceptable, but if Overkill could tweak it, make it their own, similar to the original idea of Payday, I could see that actually working out. And it would be much more desirable than any Battle Royale or other PvP game that they could make. Imagine being able to play as a taser, hiding behind your shield teammate, getting all tactical like that, trying to get the heisters. Maybe you could adopt a Battlefront style system where someone's chosen as a bulldozer and they're actually threatening, not like the ones we have now that are just big and loud. Players could use maybe special skills like Inspire or something. Both sides, maybe they'd have to fight for the hostages when the assault break ends. I don't know, the possibilities are really endless. Of course, balancing it would be a nightmare, but you know, I'm not really a game developer, so that's not my issue. 
Of course, this is all wishful thinking, since right now, Overkill is in the biggest pickle of their lives, and we can only hope to even have any news from them in the future. But, all in all, that's my personal take on the whole Payday Battle Royale situation. Feel free to discuss. What did you think about it? What did you think about seeing the joke? Or maybe is it a joke? Do you think it's real? What would you like to see from the future? Maybe you don't agree with what I've said? Of course, you know, these are all my own opinions. You are free to disagree with what I said. But remember this. On the internet, your opinions are wrong. And my opinions are fact. Oh, by the way, I'd totally get one of those fucking meesters if I could. That shit is dope. <laughs>